Well, Julius, I think it's probably fair to say that Robert Juliet brand is known most widely for their follow spots, which this is not one of. No, it's a Cyclite. It is. This is a Dallas 860. And uh, the idea is that with one of these or one row of these, either a ground row or an overhead row, you can cover up to about an eight and a half to nine meter psych if you do ground row and you do top rig version, you can go up to 14 meters, which is, I think you'll agree, probably higher than most people's cycle armors are ever likely to be. Has it got a kind of like asymmetric setting? It does. It is an asymmetric fixture. And if you mm. look in the actual uh, documentation, there's a nice little graph. There's no iPhone app or anything like that to tell you where to put it. There's a graph. You can print it out, a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a nice little menu system on the back. You can run it in standalone mode if that sort of floats your boat. If you don't want standalone mode, uh, there's Artnet, there's various other control methods. There's six different DMX control protocols occupying somewhere between, I'm going to look this up, uh, seven channels for mode five up to 72 channels for mode six. Now, why do you need so many channels? It's because the 860 is broken up into four different segments or cells. So you can control individual cells. Mm. The other nice thing about this is that you can actually, because there's no rigging on the end of these, yeah, you, you can, you can put multiple units up very close. Yeah, very nice uh, rigging track yeah, the on the rigging, bottom. The rigging on the bottom of this is actually, it's, it's like fly track that it's we're clever. used to seeing on speakers. Yeah. So you can, you've got some good options for where you hang not only mm. your clamps, but also your safety attachment okay. points. And what, what are the light engines here? Um, now we've got six different colors, plus we've got warm and cool white. And, yeah. and that doesn't probably sound like a, a really big thing to, to most audio people. Indeed, I was actually pretty surprised, but I was sitting down with a fairly prominent LD and he was saying that one of the venues he works in, they've just added um, uh, not only new color mixing uh, fixtures, but also uh, variable white fixtures into these alcoves. And it mm. gives him so many options for things like pastels. And indeed, if I can do this right, we can go from here. This is just uh, sort of a gentle kind of red thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add in the warm white now. Yep. And then I'm gonna switch that and add in instead a cool white. Yeah. So you can do, the idea is that this is about really nice control, really nice subtle color. Um, it's got punch when you need it, but I, I really like the actual white output as well. I think that uh, there's a lot going for this. Mm, interesting. And uh, how much power consumption, Jim? 300 watts, according to the spec. I can't find anything really detailed, but I, I'd say you could probably hang uh, at a least five or six circuit, safely yeah. off a 10 amp circuit. So mm. there you go. You can light your whole cyclorama mm. on what, 40 amps? Easily mm. if yeah. you're doing top and bottom rows. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so that's the Dallas 860 from Robert Juliet. Sweet.